Hello and welcome to another What's Inside. This time we are looking at a copy of Likewise from Buffalo Games. This is aimed at ages 14 and up, 3 to 6 players. Takes about 35 minutes to play. And this is really just a bunch of paddles that you draw stuff on and write things. It's a pretty straightforward game. Inside we're going to see 6 paddles, 6 dry erase markers, 71 description cards, 71 subject cards, scoreboard, likewise mode die, and stickers. The stickers are for the die. Obviously this copy is used so they'll have already been applied. So let's take a look at what we've got here. Here's our instruction sheet. Pretty straightforward. Paper quality is really thin, but it's got gloss on it, so it's held up pretty well from use. Then we've got our two sets of cards, our die, this other little advertisement card, which isn't mentioned anywhere. So if you're a completionist, you'll want to find that. Then we've got our pedals, our markers, and our game boards. So our game board is just one big, really thick piece of cardstock. Really nice. And it's glossy so you can dry erase on it. It's got your six player option there. Card stacks would go here, and then you can write on that. So really nice quality, real simple design, but real sturdy, really high quality. Then we've got our markers here. I've only got five of them. Somebody lost one somewhere. But this is what they look like. They're very small, very simplistic, nothing on them. Very generic, easy to replace if you just have dry erase markers laying around. But if you're a completionist, you'll want to find some that are the same type as these. Nothing really interesting about them, just that there's six of them. All right, then we've got our petals. They say likewise on them. You've got orange, green, yellow, blue, red, and purple. These are all the same. They're just dry erase boards. Uh, somebody left that on there and didn't clean it like I told them to. So you draw or write your response on here, and then you can wipe it off later with paper towel or something similar if you have, if you're fortunate enough to have dry erase eraser those things are great for these games so like I said there's six of these not particularly exciting but let's take a look at our cards and our die and let's see what we've got there all right we've got 71 description cards and subject cards the red deck is is the um, subject cards and the orange deck is the description cards and what they do is you can tell that these are rounded at one end and blank are a straight edge on the other. So they would actually go together like that. So let's take a look at our subject cards. Because these are not numbered in any way. So this is what the back looks like. Then you flip it over. And then we have pet, fast food, pizza topping, superhero, vegetable, comedian, person, holiday, fruit, dance, car, athlete, thing on a farm, candy, guilty pleasure, footwear, Fashion accessory, thing you wear, pet peeve, magazine, junk food, movie, vehicle, thing in a construction site, garden tool, thing in a closet, thing in a gym, thing in the ocean, hairstyle, power tool, thing in a car, thing in a bedroom, Sports team, quote or saying, personality trait, job, game, drink, 
cartoon character, bad habit, movie character, hangout, singer, animal, city, snack, thing in a fridge, piece of clothing, bird, cooking utensil, vacation spot, piece of furniture, tool, book, thing in a circus, flower, exercise, song, villain, thing in a bathroom, toy, thing in a beach, country, body part, band, celebrity, politician, musical instrument, hobby, sandwich, and finally, sport. Now let's take a look at our description cards. Like I said before, these are orange. That's what the back looks like. Then you flip it over and we've got sexy, smart, boring, dangerous, famous, girly, lame, old-fashioned, powerful, sad, devilish, ugly, beautiful, politically incorrect, weird, fancy, glamorous, bizarre, creepy, ladylike, odd, popular, rotten, romantic, exotic, wimpy, random, awful, priceless, outrageous, serious, fun, intense, manly, mysterious, elegant, pathetic, stylish, classy, childish, awesome, fictional, goofy, strange, 80s, cheesy, lovable, old persons, pretty, scary, dramatic, friendly, historic, macho, silly, sophisticated, funny, intriguing, expensive, gigantic, unusual, smelly, ultimate, children's, legendary, disgusting, old, simple, small, trendy, and finally cheap. So that is all of the description cards. Now let's look at the die. This is a very large die, but it's very, very light as well. So you got to be careful if you're an old style gamer and you're used to whipping these things all over the place. This will fly right off the table. I assure you, I have uh, maybe done that before. So it does have a little bit of weight to it, but when you roll it, if you roll it like a, it's a, a regular six sided dice of this size, it's going to fly right off the table. So we've got wise guys. Likewise doodle another likewise and then we're back at wise guys then likewise and on the other side is another likewise so yeah pretty straightforward stickers were applied on this one pretty well you gotta watch that on some of these because people let their kids do it for some reason but this game's aimed at teenagers so it's usually not as bad So that is what is inside the game likewise. The cardboard stuff is really, really nice. The cards are a little thin and do stick together very easily though. Just because partly the gloss and because they're so thin. So you're used to dealing with like bicycle playing cards. You might have a little problem with these cards. But overall it's an interesting game. It's a good one for teenagers because it's not like sleazy or gross or anything like that. It's a fairly wholesome game that you can play as a family or have the kids play together and it doesn't 
turn into something weird and awkward and uncomfortable. So if you've got kids with friends that are from different backgrounds or things like that, where different games are more permissible, you'll be able to have this one as somewhat of an anchor for, you know, safety purposes. So it's a decent game for kids and adults at the same time, especially teenagers. As some of them may not like it, but it's definitely not the worst game they could be playing. Far from it. So pretty decent quality. I think it's actually a pretty impressive little set. The cards, like I said, a little cheap, but I'm willing to overlook that because the dry erase stuff is really top quality. So if you can find this, I'd recommend it. I thought it was fun. It's a decent game. I keep it around. I'll probably eventually get rid of it, but it's not a bad game if you have family members that are younger and older and they all want to play a game or are all willing to. This one is a good go-to that bridges the gap between teenagers and adults without being too adult or too risque for teenagers. So good, solid game all around. That'll do it for this one. Thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future unboxings and reviews. If you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, you can buy yourself something nice from the Teespring store, share the video on your social media, or you can support me monthly on Patreon and get access to exclusive videos from this channel and one of my other channels. Or you could do a one-time donation via Streamlabs, which accepts PayPal. Regardless of that, thank you so much for watching, and we hope to see you on the next one.